wear this fall as a tall woman. In order to successfully have a stylish wardrobe for the fall as tall women, we have to have certain things included in our entire wardrobe. A list of things that I'm going to show you in this video, they're not necessarily from a tall girl brand. However, they can fit a woman who is about six feet tall, which is my height. If you've been following me for a while, I always make regular brands work for me. One of the items on my list is this Frankie Shop oversized faux leather trench coat. This coat is absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you are like me, you're going to want to have more than one of these in your wardrobe simply because the Frankie Shop one is very oversized and it's very much so on trend. The Frankie Shop has shoulder pads. It's a faux leather. It's different from a lot of the faux leathers that I've seen before. However, I really like the style of the jacket. It's oversized enough to wear. I can still wear a big sweater under it. It's not really swallowing me and it's very much so on trend. Now this one from Kosh doesn't have any hardware either, but it's much more classic in style. And I believe that everyone should have a classic piece of outerwear in their wardrobe, regardless of if it's a trench coat or a leather trench coat. Classic pieces like this will be in your wardrobe for a really long time. So again, when it comes to quality, I'm always gonna choose quality. Koss is not the cheapest, but this jacket is absolutely gorgeous. Staying in line with the trench coats. The other trench coat is from the Frankie Shop. I got this on sale. They still have this one in store. It's not your average taupe color. It's more of like a grayish. I think that's what they're calling it. So it looks really good with red. Now this jacket is oversized. It's not a classic fit. However, I really, really like it because I didn't want anything classic for this one, but of course you should have two so that you can maximize both of those items throughout the seasons. Definitely have a moto jacket in your wardrobe. This is the Aria Faux Frankie Shop moto jacket. Absolutely love it. It's a really nice jacket. It's so nice that I got two guys. I got a white one and I got a black one. The Frankie Shop does have things that run from a small, medium, and large, and sometimes an extra large. Those items run pretty much, I want to say true to size, or maybe slightly smaller. If you want something that is oversized, go to the Frankie shop. To be tall or slightly taller, it is not going to fit us as big as it would fit someone who is 5'7". It's going to be oversized on us, but it's not going to be like massive oversized. If you do not have a moto jacket, I don't know what to tell you. Moto jackets are necessary for women who like to switch up their style. Some of the girlies who I feel like they never dress down, but it'd be that one day I see the girls in a t-shirt and a moto jacket. <laughs> so definitely check out the Frankie shop. The sleeves are long enough for us. Break down the length and stuff in the details. So that's a really good thing to do. Checking those details, guys. Check out the Frankie shop for their moto jacket. You know I love Lamarck blazers. It's new, but for me it's new, but I absolutely love their leather Blazers, their Felina leather blazers are oversized. So you want to get something classic in color when it comes to a leather blazer. Also, you want to get something that isn't leather for the fall because you may not want to always wear a leather blazer in the fall. So you want to get something that is a material. Which leads me to my other blazer, which is my blazer from ALC. I'm willing to dish out $500 for a blazer, okay? then it may not be for you. Definitely check out some of the other designers. But for me, in my arms and my body, I buy things that work well with my body, even if I have to try to find a deal on it, but I'm gonna get it because it fits my frame well. It's hard out here for us ladies. So that's the other blazer that I would recommend you including in your fall wardrobe. If you do not want to have two of those blazers, Definitely get something that you can wear multiple times and in multiple ways. And the last piece of outerwear would be my Statement Blazer. This blazer is by Aggie, A-G-G-I. Now, they're not a huge brand as far as I can see, but the blazer is really nice. It's more of a statement piece because it does have shoulder pads and it's a very bright red color. This is like my statement color in my wardrobe. I have pieces here and there of red. It's one of my favorite colors. This particular color and style of blazer, I need it in my wardrobe. Think about what you want to include in your wardrobe as your statement color. Something that is going to make your wardrobe pop. Red is a color for me that can go with 95% of my 
clothes. So be careful when you are choosing a statement color for your wardrobe. Make sure it's something that can go with 90 to 95% of your wardrobe. Black turtlenecks are another essential that you should include in your fall wardrobe. If you don't want something that is super high on the neck, go for something that is a mock neck. If this one is from Abercrombie and Fitch and it is more of a bodysuit style, but I do have multiple. Kombi is not tall girl friendly. However, I got really lucky <laughs> with this top a couple of years ago. They're really great quality and they're long at the bottom. Now, I'm saying long at the bottom, ladies, because you know that bodysuit area, if it's not long enough for us because we're tall, is going to fit us horrible. Definitely check out Abercrombie and Fitch, which leads me to Koss because Koss also has some really nice tops right now. This one is a black sheer mock neck type shirt. The funny thing is that Koss does not have it online for whatever reason, but it is in store. I got a size medium. I really wanted a large, but since it is sheer, it does stretch a lot. Absolutely love it. Now, they also have some merino wool ones in different colors. This is more of a statement turtleneck for me. It is like a tortoiseshell color. When you when you look at it, it does look like tortoiseshell. It's thinner. It's not as thick as something that you would wear in the winter, but you can definitely use this as a underpiece if you want to layer it when it gets a little bit colder. Now, these tops were not expensive. Actually, the tortoiseshell one was like 70 bucks, and the sheer one was a little bit more pricey, but it is kind of like a statement piece because it's sheer. It has some sweater around the sleeves and around the neck, different. Not something that I have seen a lot of other tall girls wear. Try to buy pieces, ladies, that you don't see other tall women wearing. That way, you're not looking like everybody else, okay? <laughs> And the last top you want to have that I would recommend right now, you need sweaters and stuff, but I didn't want to include that, satin tops. Zara has really nice satin blouses, guys, and they actually fit us. Measure your arms. It is the key to it all. Now, when you go to Zara and you want to get something that is satin, I recommend doing this. If the top is made in Turkey, you're good. The satin tops that are made in Turkey at Zara are really great quality. They're thicker and they're just better in quality in my opinion. This one I had in my wardrobe for over three years now. It's really nice. I take it to the dry cleaners. Certain things from high street brands, I do not put them in the washing machine. But then again, who's putting satin in the washing machine? Some people are. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll basically take it to the dry cleaners and have them dry clean it and then I'm good. I had it for a really long time. So look at the labels at Zara because the stuff made in Turkey is really good quality. When it comes to bottoms, skirts and pants, I would recommend including in some leather pants in your arsenal for the fall. And also you wanna include a statement color. So if you want to include a leather, you can do something a little bit more basic like this pair from ALC. It is a cream color. Cream color, it's very light. If you're not into light colors, then it is not for you. But ALC, again, they're very pricey. But for me and my wardrobe and the quality, I'm always going to go for the best quality over quantity, always. Now the other pair is a statement color and these are from Zara. I did a video on these a very long time ago and pretty much what I did was I bought two pair of pants from Zara and I had my tailor go in and cut off some of the bottom of one and add it to the other and then I had her turn the other one into a skirt. I'm gonna see if I can find a photo and pop it in uh, with the pants, well with the skirt um, so you guys can see. So that's a really good way to be creative as a tall girl. It's a hack that I love to do. Buy two of the same items, get them to make one into a skirt and leave the other one as a pair of pants and just have them add on some length to the bottom. Now here's the thing, when you find a tailor, make sure they are good with instructions and they know exactly what you are trying to do 
with the items. Otherwise, they're going to screw it up and you're going to be upset. Think about buying two of the same items and getting one made into a skirt and adding some piece from that one over to the other one. So that's a really good quick hack that I would recommend you guys doing. Satin skirts are another thing that you should include in your fall wardrobe, whether it's a short one or a long one. Definitely get you a satin skirt. I recommend the one from Norma Kamali. It's almost like a gown length on me. I'm six feet tall again, so it's like a gown length. And you can pair this with sneakers. You can pair this with boots, um, chunky boots, moto jackets, t-shirts, whatever it is. But definitely make sure you have a satin skirt in your fall wardrobe. Now, pleated skirts are very on trend. I don't think they're ever going to go out of style. The thing about pleated skirts is you want to get one, if it's a faux leather skirt, you want to get one that is great quality. This pleated skirt is from Mango, and I bought two of them. I have it in black, and I also have it in this pretty camel color. When you are looking to buy a pleated skirt, definitely make sure you are looking at the details on it. Sometimes you can order something from a brand and the faux leather will smell, okay? These that I have from Mango, I had them for years now. <laughs> and a pleated skirt is another essential you should include in your fall wardrobe. When it comes to footwear for the fall as tall women, it's already a struggle for us because, listen, ladies, we do have some big old feet. I am the first to say I wear an 11, sometimes a 12, and you guys already know Jimmy Choo was a freaking 13. Certain boots I'm always going to include in my fall wardrobe, and here's the first one. These boots are from Charles David, and Charles David is like a hit or miss for me. There's Charles David and Charles by Charles David. The Charles David boots probably run about $300, so you'll know the difference in price when you are shopping them. And their stuff is really, really nice. Now, I do have these particular black boots in brown as well. I'm going to pop in a picture of the brown, but let me tell you, not many brands are selling real suede. They're not, okay? These are suede. For them to be a brand that's not really big, and to still use real suede, I'm happy, okay? Some of these other brands that's charging like $700, the shoes are not even suede. Like, they're not. Definitely check out Charles David, but have you a nice pair of black boots. If you want to get the, if you want to really invest in something similar to these, you can definitely go for the mm, Givenchy Sharp boots. <laughs> but if you don't, definitely look into these. They actually do have a pair now. That's kind of similar, but they're all leather. They're actually really cute, so check them out. I want to have a taupe color or an ivory color. These are colors that will actually go with a ton of stuff if you don't want to always wear black. So these are from Mark Fisher. Mark Fisher is also a brand that is not really known for like really nice boots and stuff, but I actually got two pair of these. I have them in black, and I also have them in this pretty taupe color. Now, here's the thing. They slouch. They don't fall down, but they slouch if I wanted them to slouch. Very nice boot. The heel is low enough to where I can walk around all day. They're not super high and they're comfortable. They're not super kitten, but they are kind of low, but they're very comfortable. And this is what I'm saying about not shopping at brands that all tall girls shop at. A lot of us do have big feet, like I said. And I'm going to say big from like 10 and up because even some brands don't even go up to a 10 okay and it's not it's not right it's really not right <laughs> so the brands that do go up to like a 12 and a 13 i definitely keep my eye on them they are tall girl brands that do have shoes that go up to i believe a size 16 so those girls are really limited on what they can actually buy because if someone else that is tall has the same foot size they're pretty much all gonna have the same exact thing so for me as a girl who wears a size 11 to a 12 I can kind of have a little bit more leeway when it comes to shopping and buying footwear for the fall. So having a taupe color in your wardrobe would be a great item to include this fall. If you stay this far in the video, make sure you are hitting that like button and let me know that you are enjoying this video so I can do a ton more videos like this for all of my tall ladies. 
A statement pair of boots are a must to include in your fall wardrobe. These are from Stodd. They're red cami boots. I absolutely love them. I did purchase them in another color, but I had to send them back. But a statement color shoe is something that I would recommend having. It'll add that pop to your wardrobe again, like I stated with the red blazer. As you can see, I'm sticking with the red theme and it is on trend this fall. Definitely look into buying a statement boot. It can be the color or it can even be the style that you want, but have a statement boot in your wardrobe for this fall will definitely add some style to your fall wardrobe as a tall girl. These are Gia Borgini boots. They're a chunky boot. They're very heavy, ladies. <laughs> if you're not into chunky boots because they're heavy, definitely go for something that is more of a riding boot style. But you need a pair of chunky boots or maybe a Chelsea boot, something like that that's going to add a little edge to your fall attire. We don't always want to wear a heel. So getting something a little bit more relaxed, like a chunky boot, will definitely add a little edge to your full wardrobe. As tall women, I don't see a ton of us wearing boots like this. And I am assuming, it's because we got some big old feet, <laughs> that we don't actually want to wear anything that's going to add more volume to the bottom. So look into some chunky boots for this fall. If you're not into them, again, probably get you something more of a sleek style of a riding boot, but you need something more relaxed and style so you can still look stylish on those days where you don't want to wear a heel. The last thing would be these Samba OG Adidas. Okay. Samba sneakers are in. They're never going to go out of style. I think I've loved these since I was small. I am an Adidas girl, so I'm going to wear like shell toes on, and things like this. These can be worn with skirts. Okay, you can wear them with slacks. You can wear them with jeans. But definitely have a nice pair of sneakers in your fall wardrobe. In your fall wardrobe. If you don't want something that is loud because they have the stripes on them, you can get you a classic pair of white sneakers. Those are always good to have in your wardrobe for fall, summer, and spring. So try getting a pair of sneakers that actually go with your wardrobe. You want to make sure you're maximizing your pieces for fall. So if you can't find something that is neutral in color, get something that matches the majority of your wardrobe. I'm going to try to link the majority of the stuff that I have in this video. Some of the stuff are not actually online, which is odd. But if I can find something similar, I'm definitely going to link those below. I'm also going to link some of my blog posts below for you ladies to take a look at. If you don't know, I do run a tall girl blog. I give style tips, a bunch of style tips for tall women. And also, I'm going to link my digital products for my styling services. These products were created to help women create a capsule wardrobe, learn how to shop with like a high-low budget, and even for those women who work in corporate America and travel and they overpack. So I have a digital download that's going to walk you through how to pack the proper way for a business trip. So if you are interested in that, definitely check out the description. Let me know if you guys have your full essentials ready. How many of the items on this list you already have included in your wardrobe or are you missing any? Thank you guys for tuning in. If you stayed to the end of this video, please comment Coco, we see you. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC, and my style services, Coco Styles NY.com. And I'm on tickety tickety talk, Coco Styles NYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.